Hello guys and welcome in the last episode of the Korean series. It was an amazing journey, it was a hell of a challenge and I really enjoyed every second of this beautiful game. Today we are in the last episode and we are going to put an end to this amazing cha challenge by destroying, by destroying Germany to the last city. Berlin has been under huge fire from the North Korean army. He is pushing forward, but Germany he is retreating back as we are not giving him no chance to regroup and launch a counterattack. We overwhelmed him with the combo of uh, SAMs, the anti-air protection, mobile artilleries, and also the amazing article that North Korea has made lately, which is the special forces. Special forces are made up here for the scouting, for locating the anti-air and their multiple rocket launches. You see here, it is an almost dead special force, but yet it can do its work by scouting and giving us the real identity of their units and armies. And here, dear Congo is still invading our Middle East. He is very lucky that we do not have defenses there in that area but it's only a matter of time until we regroup I have a stack of gunships but it is still level 1 uh, currently I am upgrading to the level 2 but yet I can uh, uh, I can uh, land some damage to that, that to that stack our goal is to destroy his SAMs. If his SAMs they are dead, we can launch all of our fixed wing aircrafts on him and destroy him to ashes. But before destroying those SAMs, it's gonna be uh, a hell of a challenge here because he is advancing with an overstacked uh, division. Uh, the, um, the damage is going to be uh, separated, like it's not going to be only focused on the SAMs. Of course, the motorized infantry, they are going to absorb like the highest percent of the damage and they are going to give me a damage also. So it is only a matter of time until I inflict some damage to that stack. It is coming to the airbase of Karbala. So soon he will start uh, attacking with his multi rocket launches from distance. So before that, we need to make a stand. But it's not a bad situation here. He is so far from our homeland cities because that's an impossible area to come there without a navy for sure. Because you know, the Air Congo, he didn't make a navy in this game. So he is trying to enter from Asia, which is going to be an impossible task for him because we will not give him no chance to advance and even get to the Iranian lands there. And here the expansion in the Balkans is going to start now. Uh, I landed in Istanbul here and I'm going to also to enter from the north. It's only now a matter of time until we gather the required points and provinces, cities to be able to finally establish the Korean kingdom that we always dreamt of establishing. It was a challenge that I have been preparing for so long time. Uh, uh, my fans and followers on YouTube, they always wanted a Korean series and now finally we managed to give you a proper show, an amazing duo between two experienced players, a perfect teamwork here between North and South Korea. And this is what happens if in real life North and South Korea are united. They will literally, literally do a huge impact on the world. Okay, I sent my gunships there to heal in the uh, airbase of Ankara because, you know, I received a lot of damage. As I said, those uh, motorized infantry, they are going to make me exhausted. And this is the attack helicopters of uh, Germany, you know. Only max level gunships, they are going to uh, uh, scout those... Um, not scout but they can detect and reveal stealth of the special forces but here he doesn't have those gunships so yeah his attack helicopters they are blind they cannot see uh, North Korean special forces even though it is under him of course it's not only the gunships that can reveal the special forces we have a lot of other units that can do that I'm mentioning uh, the radar reveal stealth radar drones other special forces and uh, recon vehicles I'm gonna make an airfield here because I couldn't send my gunships there. He destroyed the airbase of Karba Karbala. And these are the cities of Dier Congo. He's making a level 5 uh, army base. Maybe he's preparing for anti missile systems. But we do not have uh, nuclear firepower. We, are, we didn't use uh, ballistic missiles here or cruise missiles because we do not have enough resources to be able to make those uh, that technology. Like, we really played with the limitation of the resources of North and South Korea. You know, we are not big nations, we're only 4-4 four, four nations, but now 
If you see to my resources panel above, I have 14k supplies, 14k components, 13k fuel, uh, 19k uh, electronics and 4k rare materials and 40k manpower. You can really know and see that today in the day 33, we have an amazing economy. This is South Korea, because if you see the, the, the resources panel of North Korea, it's going to be the double of what I have, because he have the double of the cities I have. So here you can clearly see that you can have an amazing economy, even though with Korea, but with a proper strategy. And of course, we need the expansion. We need the cities. We need to get more lands, which is very important to have an amazing economy. Yes, the arms industries, they are helpful. Annexing cities are helpful, but nothing is compared to expansion. The, uh, the more you expand in the lands, the more you colonize provinces, cities, the more you will have resources. You see here the density of cities in the Balkans is pretty much amazing. There is a lot of cities. So practically when I take all of those lands, my resources are going to be more and more strong. Now here we need really, we need to start thinking about the invasion of DR Congo because he literally destroyed the promise because in the first he asked for peace, he wanted to join us, etc, etc and a lot of drama and finally he is invading us. So pretty much DR Congo needs to be punished for, he, for what he did here. So we are not going to let him really win the game like this. We need at least to destroy his homeland cities before the game is finished. We cannot let him stay intact. And this is what we planned. And this was a time lapse because there was a lot of details that I didn't want to engage in. But North Korea now is heading to the capital of DR Congo of Kinshasa. Look how fortified his capital. But our special forces, they are scouting his capital. He, 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 he can't see us because he doesn't have a radar or a unit that can reveal stuff. So you see, all of the, uh, the horn of Africa has been taken by our armies, by our units. And also the center of Europe now is ours. Now Europe is under the command of the Korean kingdom. All of Asia is under the command of the Korean kingdom. The leading nation of the African continent now is under the command of the Korean kingdom. And it's a checkmate, guys. Like now, we can say congratulations for us for winning this game. You can see for the required points we need, we are there. It's, we need only 14 points to win. And yes, finally, after a hard work, after hard work, we nailed it. We nailed it and we had it. Let's have a look here. Look how much cities Nublok have. 156 cities, 2,244 uh, points. And of course, Meliodas is second here. And I'm really happy. I'm really happy that we won this game because it was a hell of a challenge. In the beginning, when we entered the game, we knew that Apocalypse for Speed is going to attract a lot of golders, is going to have good players. And from the beginning, when we saw uh, the ranking and the stats of the uh, players, we saw that there are a heavy players in this map, like Saudi Arabia, where he was the fifth or the sixth um, player in the general ranking, and also Germany have an amazing stats and all other players. But we fixed an amazing, an amazing strategy, and we stick to our strategy, and everything went very, very well. This is a look here in the United States, which is um, inactive. He doesn't look like a good player, but there is here Cuba and Venezuela. They are active players. They have been fighting all over the game. They literally didn't do nothing except fighting and fighting. But it's a good record here, finishing the game in day 37 with North and South Korea. Like, it was an amazing pace. We literally destroyed them very fast and I'm really glad. Let's now have a wider look to the Korean Kingdom how much we expanded, how big is our empire, the Korean empire, guys, from the Pacific Ocean, from the Pacific Ocean to Siberia, to the Western of Europe, to Africa. Thank you guys for watching this series and see you in other challenges. Bye bye.